Hello lovely friends, thank you so much for joining me for another studio vlog. May has been crazy. So this studio vlog will be all about me moving into my new studio at Collective Haunt, the Bowbird Design Market, and a lot of weaving of made to order scarves. So thank you for joining me and let's get on with the video because it may be a bit of a longer one. First, we're heading down to Wollonga, which is pretty close to McLaren Vale. We're going to our favorite tap house, which we haven't been to for quite a while, Shifty Lizard. And it's about lunchtime, so it's pretty quiet around here. But we just thought we'd stop in for a beer before I needed to restock at Fleurier Art House in McLaren Vale. Good morning, it is Saturday the 7th of May and I am just outside Collective Haunt as I normally am on a Saturday but today is a little bit different. Today I am moving into my own studio. Woo! So I've been in sort of temporary spots the whole time I've been at Collective Haunt but now an official studio has come up and I am moving in this morning. So come with me as we have fun in my new studio. Okay, so to give you an idea of where my studio is, here's the main gallery, and literally it's the first studio off to the left. So you can see it's a pretty good space. It looks really big now. <laughs> it looks really big now Leah's moved out, but there's actually quite a bit of space. So look at all this lovely white wall to put my work on. And my next door neighbor is Sonali Patel, who is in here. And then there's Carolyn Corletto in there. So yeah, and I've just got to move all my stuff literally across the gallery. So my temporary space has just been in Jane's room in here. So very simple to just move it from one side to the other. It's actually a lot more room than I had in the other studio, which I am surprised about. But I think with um, the tarp on one wall, it kind of looks smaller than it was. So in this space, it does look quite a lot larger. And I'm still figuring out where things are going to go. Uh, not sure if I should keep that unit there or whether I should move it around. But hmm, I'll show you when I've made up my mind. <laughs> So this is the space so far, so down here is where I'm going to put the drawer unit to store all of my x-rays. So that's the only thing that will probably change. I'll probably get a rug to go here as well to make it more cosy, but yeah. I'm really liking this, so I've got my x-ray weaving here. As you can see, I'm in the middle of it. It's a monstera leaf. Let me show you. Yeah. And my other tapestry loom is just here. So I've got plenty of room to swing my chair around <laughs> and a bit of storage space. Then when the drawer unit is there, there'll be even more storage space. So yeah, really happy with it.
one week until Bowerbird and I've got all these scrunchies to make. Oops, dropping them off there. I just have to hand sew them up because I finished them off just doing some hand sewing. So I sewed these last night and I'll be hand sewing them. And I've got a whole other pile to make up. But this is what happens when I've been making scrunchies. My carpet <laughs> is very messy and needs a vacuum. So that is the weekend's job. I have got plenty more of these to make up. So yeah, one week to go. It is Friday the 13th of May. Good luck for some. Ah. Uh, and it's the first day of the Bowerbird Design Market. And at the moment it is 8.45. So I've just gone for a walk just to loosen my body up. And I did all my ironing of scarves last night. But this morning I need to take out all of my market furniture, pack Anita's car and get ready for Bowerbird. So I'll show you what I've got ready so far. I just need tags for those two scarves and then on the other side of the loom I've got quite a lot of stock. You can see that that's quite a lot of stock. Don't have very many short scarves. Uh, I sold them and I didn't really replenish them as much as I was hoping. A whole tub full of scrunchies. <laughs> I counted 54 scrunchies, that's crazy. And I've just got to get out the plant holders now and yeah, get ready to go. Oh, and I'm also super ambitious. I literally just finished this scarf yesterday. So I just need to iron it and then sew it up. So I have one more dapper scarf ready for the market. Just packing the car for Bowerbird, look at this. Anita is the master at packing if I was packing I would just literally throw everything into the boot but look at this it is like Tetris beautiful and my scars would just go in last so nothing gets um creased it starts off as a mess still setting up before we open in about an hour. It's a good time to go and get coffee and relax before the onslaught. <laughs> Just 
it is Monday and Bowerbird is finished. It was really good fun. Sorry, in a bumpy car. And Anita and I are just on our way for lunch. I'm taking Anita out to Darrenburg as a thank you for helping me out at the market stall. So I will show you Darrenburg and also the cube is next door. We might not have time to visit, but I can at least show you the outside. <laughs> cube it is amazing <laughs> multi 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 million dollar cube <laughs> look at that but we are going for lunch at Darry's veranda in here The Darrenberg Cube was opened in 2017, costing about $15 million and created by the winemaker at Darrenberg, Chester Osborne. His family have owned Darrenberg for many, many years. He's the fourth generation winemaker. Now people either love the cube or they hate it. We personally love it. You just have to not take it too seriously. It is very silly, it's very fun. There's nothing serious going on whatsoever. You just have to have a sense of humor to enjoy the cube. The top floor of the cube is a wine tasting area with a beautiful view across the vineyards and the other levels have a restaurant and there's also art exhibitions everywhere so there is plenty to have a look at at the cube next time you're visiting McLaren Vale. So I'm back from Darrenburg. I'm just working on one of my made to orders that I received during the Bowerbird market. I actually had an unprecedented amount of made to orders. So I've currently got four scarves. No, five scarves that I need to make now. I think one was a direct result of Bowerbird. The other four came through on my website, but they could have been because of Bowerbird. I'm not quite sure. They didn't mention where they found me, but um, it's really good. It's great to have some made to orders to do after the event. Uh, so I'm working on that now and hopefully I can get at least three of them done this week. We'll see. So also today, Anita went off to Melbourne for work, unfortunately for a couple of days, but we still had a really, really good day. It was, it was fun at the Cube. And as you saw, our lunch was absolutely amazing at Darry's Veranda. So if you're ever in Adelaide and you're visiting McLaren Vale, highly recommend Darry's Veranda for lunch and visiting the Cube. But with Darry's Veranda, you do need to book quite a lot in advance because it does book up very quickly. I mean, it's Monday today and it was still packed. Go figure. I'm weaving with a silver gray color. I'm weaving a cravat, which is one of my shorter scarves one of those and I've also oh that was good 
my little tripod on, my, on the top of my loom. And I've also got another two cravats and another two long scarves. So better get to it. I think it's oh, won't be too much longer and I'll be able to have a glass of wine as well. It's Saturday the 21st of May. We literally just voted in our federal election. Lucky for us, it's just like a 10, 15 minute walk. So we just did that. And now I'm packaging up orders because I have a couple of lovely customers coming to collect scarves from me from Collective Hort. Let me just show you what I've made. So <laughs> as you can see, my um, tapestry loom is my area for holding my orders. So I just made this, actually two of these, the cravat. So one's going into my web shop. So by the time this is posted, it'll be in there and I'll put a link below. And the other one is being picked up today. And then another customer wanted two cravats exactly the same um, of this pattern that I actually have as a full length scarf. So if you want the full length version, it's all on my website as well. And if you've got sharp eyes, you can see that I'm actually wearing a pink and black version, <laughs> which is one of my favorite scarves ever. So yes, so I just need to package those up in gift boxes and then I need to get my stuff together for the gallery because I'll be there all day today. I've got a draw unit to set up for all my x-rays, so I'll show you that as well. Thank you so much for joining me for this rather long studio vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm actually recording this at the very, very end of May. So today is the 28th of May. Tomorrow I'm actually hanging a solo exhibition at the Metropolitan Hotel in the city. So in the June studio vlog, you'll be seeing all of that happening. So yeah. It's been a crazy month. So thank you again for joining me. And if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. But until the next video, bye.